When I was about the age of seven or eight, uh, my mum became a born-again Christian, but then Dad was really not happy about it <laughs> at all. But obviously God's good, you know, and he um, turned his life around about a year later. So shortly after that, we started going along to the New Life Church, and that, was, that became our foundation. Around the time that she'd given her heart to the Lord, Mum actually became quite sick and realised that she had cancer, so she had a mastectomy. And then she recovered quite well from then. And then when I was about 13, found out that Mum's cancer had come back. And um, at this stage, it had come back so strongly that um, the doctors had said to her that you've actually only got three months to live. About two weeks before my 14th birthday that she passed away. I do remember there was just one moment I had sitting upstairs in my bedroom and I had my Bible open and I was just praying and just saying, God, just this is hard, you know. And, and I just remember distinctly that feeling of um, you're not alone. And even though mum, you have left me, God will never leave me. I just, I think that was the thing that helped me through that time. We had a bit of a, not a bad run, but you know, three of our close friends over a period of two years all died, one reason or another kind of thing. So then it was, I think at each funeral that you went to, you kind of felt like, oh, you know, just, oh, I don't want to get close to anybody again. So then I just kind of closed my heart and, and then, um, you know, through my teenage years, you know, I left home at 17 and I moved to Christchurch. But I think looking back now, really, I was running away and just wanting to get away. I met Matt, actually, funnily enough, it was at a youth group meeting and it was at the end of the night, we just kind of kept catching each other's eye and it was one of those weird moments where you go, oh my goodness, there's something a little bit different here, you know. So anyway, we had a chat and then realised that actually there was something more. And um, so then we um, started dating and then we dated for seven months and then he asked me to marry him and then we got married seven months later. We were meant to go on a trip up to Nelson with two of our other close friends, two couples that all got married around the same time, but last minute we went, oh, we can't bother going, so we didn't go. And anyway, when they were coming back from Nelson, um, it was the middle of winter, and they were in a van, and the van skidded off the road. It went down the ravine into the river, and um, three out of the four died um, in that car accident. And a friend of ours came to our home to let us know what had happened, and. And I remember saying to him, I said, I said, oh, that's it. You know, I'm never going to let anybody into my heart, anybody close again, you know. And um, it was one of those real defining moments where he said to me, he said, did you hear what you said? And I'm like, well, you know, that kind of thing. And he said, you said you're never going to let anybody get close to you. Don't you ever say that because that will close you off from what God's got in store for you. And it was during that time then that, at the revelation that I needed to let God heal my heart. I love to minister to the kids. I love that I get a chance to see kids' lives, you know, change for eternity. That, you know, that, you know, just I think to myself, you know, like the things that, you know, has happened in my life, you know, growing through and, and just the fact that, you know, like I had that surety in my heart that God was there no matter what, and He would never leave me. And I think for me, that's my biggest thing for the kids is that, you know, I want them to know that, you know, God loves them and that He'll never leave them. If they can have that strong relationship at a young age, that that's going to help them through their teenage years with whatever they might face. Keep watching incredible stories of people just like these on impactforlife.tv.